All right, so day one is done, and this is the middle of day two, and we've just done a fresh coat of primer on everything. The drywall is up, and it's, it's raining, cats and dogs outside, so the primer is drying a little bit slow. But in the meantime, we're finishing up the framing, and once everything is dry, we're gonna put the first coat of paint on. Should we just angle it like this and just Yeah, just keep sliding it, like it in. You want all the way in? As far in, because we gotta clear the staircase. Okay. You're just moving it out of the way. Now you can take the bed, pull it back, take it up the stairs. I lifted one edge of it myself last night just to see. Like it's 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 good, you know. It's 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 heavy, but you're gonna need more. It's gonna take some muscle. It's for the kids, though. It's for the kids. One, two, three, step. How many well, college students does it take to get one mattress? It's a lot of mattresses. It's, it's a, a bed. major bed. It's a bed. <laughs> this bed was donated by Medlift. And it was the one major request that the mother had. She just had hip replacement surgery, and she's still going to be, you know, not too ambulatory for quite some time. So this allows her to watch TV and to um, study in bed, be able to sit upright. But the policy for the delivery people were that they would just bring it in the door. They're not taking it up the stairs. So. Do you want to take? Do you want to raise it up the stairs as is? No, 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 we're not doing shelves. We're just the patching. Then, 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 oh, yeah, and then uh, we're going to yeah. fix the shelves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I say run it. Somebody knows upstairs. Will you give me a tape from upstairs? Yeah. 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 Yeah
the wall behind Adina's bed. The headboard is going to be, it's separate because it is a mechanical bed and it needs to be able to go up and down. So the headboard is going to be posted onto the wall itself. We're going to make that today. We're making a padded headboard for Adina. So we're reusing a little piece of plywood. So we've cut it and we're going to cover it with a piece of foam. And you're going to help me. We're going to cheat it a little bit at the bottom because that's going to tuck down beneath the bed. Lord willing. You don't want the foam to move around too much, so we're going to use a spray adhesive. And it's just going to pull, we're going to pull it down really tight in the back and create a nice smooth round edge and staple gun it in the back. I got the velvet, it, you know, give it a little touch of luxury to it. It's not silk back, it's, you know, it's, it's very affordable fabric. Right, we're moving a heavy bed and a shelf. Probably two guys in the front, two guys in the back. Then two guys on the bed, then two guys on the bed. Watch the house. The house. The house. Okay, so it is reveal day. The family's going to be here in about two hours, and we are a little bit behind schedule, so everybody's kind of in a craze. The paint is on the wall, the paint is on the ceiling, but it's not quite dry yet. We had a really wet day yesterday, so we're all kind of cranked up and we're pulling everything out, we're pulling all the paint out, we're pulling all the supplies out, all the tools out, and all of the protective floor covering out, and we're about to start moving furniture in the room. We're going to have to do it a little delicately because everything is still a little bit damp. So in two hours, we'll be able to breathe easy. You all right? You all right, Mike? Stress. Come here. I need a hug. Yeah, I can tell. Give me a hug. <laughs> it's going to be great, though. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I am based out of New York, and I was I had the great opportunity to work with Healing Spaces in New Jersey, and we did a room up there, and I, I wanted to stay involved with the project. It's, it's such a phenomenal experience. I actually, I was watching the news one night, and I saw a piece on Healing Spaces. They had reached out to a small child, a young boy, and they did his room, and I said, that's something that I want to spend my time doing. I want to be involved in that. The rain has killed us. There was so much rainfall yesterday and we had a lot of drywall. Nothing was drying, so it's taken a lot of time to get it done. I've met Adina and I've spent a little bit of time with her and she's an amazing girl and she's really excited. So I know this room, it's going to fit her to a T. She's going to love it. Well, with this project, we were trying to make sure that everything was kind of curtailed to her medical needs. So the first thing that I decided to do, since she has asthma, we ripped up all of the carpet in the room and we laid down a really quick floating wood floor. It's easy to clean and it doesn't catch any of the dander because she has four cats that she's completely in love with. So we have that and then we were able to get a medical bed that was donated to us by Medlift. So we're super, super gracious for that. How are we doing, guys? Did anybody grab the directions off the bed in the other room? What's going on? Yeah, please. Stay, stay. Okay. After unboxing the bed, dispose of all packing materials as it could possibly smother small children and pets. We're figuring out how to use it with our owner's manual, and we are so grateful that this came along with the bed. So let's see. The owner's manual tells us nothing. Oh, nice so I guess we just plug it in. Except for This thing is awesome. Check it Whoa. out! Wow, let's nice. move this off. Girl, I'm done for the rest of the day. No one else knows my name, yes. please. Oh, this bed is a dream. Who would like us to start setting up? I would like all of this out. Right. Whatever can come out. Do we still need this? Oh, this die? Oh. Okay. Yes, we need those because you can sucks. Can somebody throw a level on that curtain rod and see if that's a level? Yay! Wow. Perfect. Now we're going to do the The headboard. headboard was a late night project. We had a piece of quarter so inch quarter inch plywood and foam and we just 
So we put the foam on there with a little bit of spray adhesive, wrapped it in some beautiful velvet fabric, and staple gunned it to the back. So it's quick, it's easy, and it's under 100 bucks. So you can't beat that. You need somebody to eye it? Also, guys downstairs, Ian, when you're done, there is a bag, and inside of this bag, there lives an air freshener. Once we get it where we want it, then we'll stick it down. I can't see myself. Where should that go? And now that gives it so much color. What, the, the carpet? Yeah. yeah. Good. I love you too, Mom. First, you do the pattern. And then after you've locked in your pattern, you come behind it and you put these little stickers. You tuck them right underneath and they stick to the sticker. Well, let's scoot the bed back to where it's supposed to go. And let me see how much is exposed. All right, so our furniture is all the way in. The rugs are down. The room is almost clean. We are at the final stages and we are also excited. Doing a cherry blossom decal on the walls, bringing a little bit of the outside in. And the family is eight minutes away. Can we throw this away? Yes, Mom. Who put that away? This is what I was going to do. Like once they come in and view the room and you catch them on that, and then after. I'll come in and go through every little detail with you after they read them. How does that work? Oh, it's so pretty! Oh, my goodness. It's so pretty! Oh, my goodness. I love this. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look over here. Oh, oh this looks great! Oh, okay. This looks great! I, I got an Xbox 360. Oh, my <laughs> Halo 3. Oh my god. Back you gone. Oh really? Oh my god. Oh yes. Turn. Look on your desk. Oh. <gasps> Back into the room. That's a laptop. Oh my gosh. Yay. Um, we know you're going to be in home next year. Yeah. So we wanted to make sure you had a place to hang out. Is that for a bed? Sleep. The control? This is a controllable bed. Oh. So it adjusts. It goes all the way up. And it even vibrates for you. Yes! Oh. So, Mom, these are for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Medina, these are for you. Thank you. No problem. We should be giving you flowers. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. the bed feels great, FYI. Oh, it good. feels good. Nice and firm. Oh, this is so pretty. I think it really is. I'm loving the trees. And it's so airy and... Clean. <laughs> yeah, and it's to stay like this. Yeah, that part's on you. <laughs> Mom, if anything ever drops on this, you can pop out each tile individually. You can pop it out, rinse it under a sink, and throw it back down. Oh, and your ottoman's open for storage, too. You got a lot of storage. Oh, yeah. Hey! Hey! Did I give you a hug? Not yet! I need to give you a hug. revealed the room and Adina was super excited. Her mother was just overwhelmed and a little emotional. So I just wanted to say thank you so much to everybody that had their hands involved in this. Mark Dumoff, the owner of Healing Spaces, Bruce and Marlene Seidelman, Michael Seidelman and Adam who raised all the money from their fraternities as well as Medlift who donated this amazing medical bed. Sherwin Williams who donated the green paint. Ikea 
Target for donating money for the project, as well as Walls Need Love for the decals. We wouldn't have been able to do it without you, and we're so, so grateful.